What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I will be talking about the underdog and what it is and when and why you should bet on an underdog. And first things first, last video guys, we lost the BP one, but that's okay. That's okay, we lost like 10 cents, it's fine. Alright, anyway, so an underdog is an uh, is a team when there's two teams and one is has the lower percentage. Okay, so when you're looking at betting on an underdog, you want to consider a few things. First, you want to consider what is the matches that they will be playing. Is it a best of three, like the most of these? Or is it a best of one, like this match? And there you can see this will help prove my point. So essentially, why is it important to see if it's a best of three or a best of one? Well, when it's a best of one, they're only playing one game. They only have to win one game to win the match. So you look here, B gold versus versus V. It's a best of one. So B gold only has to win one game out of the three games. And they're both pretty equal teams. So if you consider they only have to win one game rather than two out of the three, it favors the underdog more in this situation. As you can see in best of threes, they have to win two out of three matches, and the underdog is less likely. And even with best of fives, it's even more less likely that there will be an underdog victory. So here, underdog, here, underdog, definitely more frequent underdogs when there's a best of one. Next, you want to consider... Um, so what I do is look at the rosters that are going to be playing. So let's say um, one team has a fill-in. Okay, then then the other team has more chance of winning the match if the other team isn't playing with their full five players. You know, they're not going to be playing together. It's all about making sure you do your research before betting on a match. And this morning when I didn't look at the preview the matches, I really just looked at the teams and which ones I thought were going to do. I lost the VP versus HR. You know, that's my mistake. I didn't do my research and I just wanted to get a video out there. But now I will, from for future videos, I will always be doing research. I can show you the research I'm doing, whether you want to see that or not. But yeah, you want to always be doing research. So maybe they're missing their star player. Oh, Underdog has an even better chance. All right. And then lastly, the consider the last big factor that I consider when choosing an Underdog is what maps will be will be the oh, my bad. Will the teams be playing? So for instance, let's say um, VP is playing OG and it's on overpass. VP is amazing on overpass. So maybe OG has a less likely chance of winning that game. However, you take a team that's really good, like Clown, let's see, um, I can't think of one on the top of my head, but let's say you take a really good, let's say there's two teams, right? Team A and Team B. Let's say Team A has the lower percent chance, but it's not the better team. They're not the better team, they've got the lower percent chance, but the map is in maybe Inferno. And Team A is really good on Inferno, and Team B, it's they're mediocre, maybe they're not so good. Team A, even though they're the underdogs, it's their best map, so they still have a big chance in winning that game. And you want to consider all these things before considering if you want to actually place a bet on an underdog. So, let's say, um, okay, so yeah, those are the three things you want to consider when you're, oh, I've been saying consider a lot, when you're betting on an underdog because of the fact that they are major big changers, big, big game changers. When you're playing another team like let's say your team's the best team on this map you're maybe not the best players but you know this map inside and out and they're just mediocre on it, okay you have your full roster maybe the other team has a villain and you're and maybe you've been playing really well you also want to consider looking at recent matches like is a team on a good winning streak then maybe they're playing really well if is a team playing really bad maybe they have five losses in a row then you don't want to bet on that team they're not doing very good they're not being consistent and those are the big things you want to consider when you're betting on an underdog i hope you guys enjoy and understand why these things are big factors that you should consider and thanks for watching peace peace